Hello and welcome. My name is Renee Riles. I am a Medicare sales representative with Capital Health Plan. During this presentation, we will talk about the Capital Health Plan Retiree Advantage HMO. This plan is offered exclusively by your employer or former employer to Medicare eligible retirees and their Medicare eligible dependents. We offer three other Medicare Advantage plans that you may have heard of. They are Capital Health Plan Silver Advantage HMO, Capital Health Plan Advantage Plus HMO, and Capital Health Plan Preferred Advantage HMO. They are available to anyone who is eligible for our Medicare plans. They have attractive premiums, but may have higher out-of-pocket costs than the Retiree Advantage plan we are talking about today. If you would like information on these plans, you may want to attend our Silver Advantage, Advantage Plus, and Preferred Advantage presentation as well. We are very proud of the fact that Capital Health Plan has received a four and a half star rating out of five stars from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services for 2023. Medicare evaluates plans based on a five star rating system. Star ratings are calculated each year and may change from one year to the next. Additional information on plan ratings is available at www.medicare.gov and in your enrollment guide. You become Medicare eligible at age 65 or earlier due to a disability or end-stage renal disease, which is permanent kidney failure. To enroll in Medicare, contact the Social Security Administration. The address and office hours and phone numbers are on this slide. You can contact the Social Security Administration up to three months prior to your Medicare effective date. However, you will automatically be enrolled in Medicare Parts A and B if you are receiving Social Security benefits prior to becoming Medicare eligible. See our Medicare Made Easy brochure that is located on our website, www.capitalhealth.com slash Medicare for additional information about how and when to enroll in Medicare. If you are 65 and have credible coverage through an employer, you do not have to sign up for Part B when you become Medicare eligible. If you do not have credible coverage or when you lose credible coverage, you must sign up for Part B or you may incur a late enrollment penalty. With Medicare, you have choices in how you receive your medical and prescription drug coverage. You may choose to have original Medicare through the federal government, which is Medicare Parts A and B. Because Original Medicare does not cover prescription drugs, individuals must purchase a separate prescription plan, which is Medicare Part D. Some individuals also choose to purchase a supplement plan or a Medigap plan to pay costs that Medicare does not cover. Capital Health Plan does not offer standalone prescription drug plans or supplement plans. Another option is to choose a Medicare Advantage plan, which is Medicare Part C, like Capital Health Plan Retiree Advantage. A Medicare Advantage plan contracts with the federal government to become responsible for your Medicare benefits and services. Our Medicare Advantage plan provides our hospital coverage, physician and outpatient services, along with prescription drug coverage, which is Medicare Part D all in one plan. You pay copayments or coinsurance when you access services and Capital Health Plan pays the health care providers. There are other options as well for individuals who have a VA benefits or TRICARE. Capital Health Plan Retiree Advantage is an employer-sponsored plan offered exclusively to retirees with Medicare and their Medicare-eligible dependents. This plan allows you to continue to participate in your group health plan after retirement. You can continue to cover dependents who are not eligible for Medicare. The benefits and copayments generally remain the same as those for active employees. However, you will see some differences. 
See the summary of benefits, your plan schedule, copayments, and formulary for additional information about the differences. The premium for Capital Health Plan Retiree Advantage is paid to your former employer and you must contact your employer or former employer for the premium amount. To be eligible to enroll in Retiree Advantage, you must be entitled to Medicare Part A and enrolled in Medicare Part B. You must continue to pay your Medicare Part B premium to the federal government. This means you will pay both the Medicare Part B premium, which is typically deducted from your Social Security benefits, and the Retiree Advantage premium, which is paid to your former employer. You must live in the service area, which includes Florida counties of Calhoun, Franklin, Gadsden, Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, and Wakala. This slide explains when you enroll in Retiree Advantage and is probably the most important slide. If you are a subscriber, which means the employee, you enroll when you retire if you are Medicare eligible. Or if you are already retired, you enroll when you become Medicare eligible. If you are the dependent, you enroll when the subscriber or your spouse retires if you are Medicare eligible. If the subscriber or your spouse is already retired, you enroll when you become Medicare eligible. If the subscriber is still working for their employer who is offering Retiree Advantage, then neither the subscriber nor the dependent will enroll in Retiree Advantage. You only enroll in Retiree Advantage when the subscriber is retired. Enrollment in Capital Health Plan Retiree Advantage is required to remain enrolled in Capital Health Plan through your employer-sponsored plan once retired and Medicare eligible. You may be eligible for simplified enrollment, which means you can enroll by completing a short enrollment application instead of the full enrollment application. To be eligible for simplified enrollment, you must be a retiree or the dependent of a retiree and be eligible for Medicare. We will begin sending you a simplified enrollment packet beginning 90 days prior to when you become Medicare eligible. We must be able to verify a physical address and enrollment in Medicare Part A and B. You can opt out of enrollment by not returning the simplified application. If you are not eligible for simplified enrollment, you will need to complete an enrollment application within the three months prior to your Medicare effective date. If you are a State of Florida employee, you will submit the application directly to Capital Health Plan. In addition, State of Florida employees must contact People First for enrollment information. All other employer group employees can submit their applications directly to their employer or former employer's benefits department. Your guide to enrollment includes a summary of benefits and your plan schedule of copayments. For each benefit listed, you can see what your out-of-pocket costs will be. The enrollment guide also includes an enrollment application, an envelope to return the application, an enrollment checklist, and additional information about our STAR ratings. It is important to remember the enrollment checklist, which will tell you how to enroll. Please take time to read the guide to enrollment for additional coverage and cost sharing information. You will not use your red, white, and blue Medicare card while you are a Capital Health Plan member. When you enroll in Retiree Advantage, we will send you a new Capital Health Plan ID card that you will use to access all of your care, including prescription drugs. You are still enrolled in the Federal Medicare Program, meaning you have all the rights and protections of the Federal Medicare Program while Capital Health Plan is providing your Medicare benefits and services. You will continue to use the same network of providers with few exceptions. You must continue to use our network providers except in emergency or urgent care situations or for out-of-area renal dialysis. 
There are also times when you may receive prior approval to go to out-of-network providers. Routine care from out-of-network providers will not be paid for by Medicare or Capital Health Plan. This is the same as your current coverage. The definition of medical emergency and urgently needed services is on this slide. The fitness benefit you are currently eligible becomes individual benefit and not a per household benefit. A unique benefit for our Medicare Advantage members is the eyewear benefit. You can receive up to $150 reimbursement every two years based on data service for the cost of eyeglasses or contacts. If you go to one of our eye care centers at Centerville or Governor Square, they will deduct this from the cost. Otherwise, you must submit receipts for reimbursement. You may see some differences in the formulary or how drugs are covered. The formulary is a list of covered drugs. It lists restrictions and cost sharing tiers. Some drugs and high-risk medications may no longer be covered. Your drugs may be different cost-sharing tiers and new restrictions may apply. We recommend that you review a hard copy of the formulary or go to our website at www.capitalhealth.com Medicare to see the most recent Retiree Advantage formulary to see how your drugs will be covered. Retiree Advantage plans have an added Select Care Tier 6 for Part D prescription drug coverage. The Medicare Select Care Tier 6 is a list of medications to help treat high blood pressure, diabetes, and cholesterol. All prescription drugs that fall within the Select Care Tier 6 have a $0 copay for retail and mail order pharmacy. In addition, the Tier 6 mail order prescription drugs, there is a 100-day supply option. State of Florida members will begin receiving their prescription drug benefit fit through Capital Health Plan. This includes mail order. You will see the same large network of doctors, hospitals, and pharmacies. You will not be negatively affected by the gap in the prescription drug benefit because the retiree advantage plans cover the gap, which is also known as the donut hole. Emergency and urgently needed care is covered anywhere in the world. Most co-payments remain the same, but there are exceptions. Please review your summary of benefits, schedule co-payments, and formulary. Some individuals with limited incomes and resources may be eligible for a federal program called Extra Help or Low Income Subsidy, which reduces prescription drug premiums and co-payments or co-insurance. To see if you qualify for extra help, you can call Medicare, the Social Security Office, or Medicaid. The contact information is provided on this slide. This information is not a complete description of benefits. Contact the plan for more information. Benefits, premiums, and or copayments coinsurance may change on January 1 of each year. Limitations, copayments, and restrictions may apply. The formulary, pharmacy network, and or provider network may change at any time. You will receive notice when necessary. Contact your employer or former employer to learn what other requirements they may have regarding your enrollment and retiree advantage. Contact your employer, former employer, to disenroll. Capital Health Plan Retiree Advantage HMO are HMO plans with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in Capital Health Plan Retiree Advantage HMO depends on contract renewal. This slide contains our contact information and hours of operation. Please feel free to contact us with questions or for assistance. Appointments are necessary to see a Medicare sales representative. If you have special needs, this and other documents may be available in other formats such as Braille or large print. Thank you and please feel free to contact us with any other questions.